crazy teachers at school. I know that everyone has them and they drive me crazy. Like I cannot stand some of my teachers. One of my teachers that in particular that I want to talk about is my chemistry teacher. She is crazy. She literally, okay, so I, I, we go into class, right? And then there's like these objectives on the board and then you have to write them down and it basically like tells you what you're doing throughout the day. Half the time, the objectives have nothing to do with what we're doing in class. And then we take notes during class on some random stuff. And then our test sends something else that had nothing to do with the notes. And all of our homework, she literally prints off from Google. And she knows that like we go on the internet and stuff to get the homework or whatever to get it done. So she made homework only 15% of the, like, final grade. So to me, she's just one crazy teacher, and I have another crazy teacher, too. Okay. So you come in at the beginning of the hour, right? This is geometry class. Up on the board, there's this warm-up. The warm-up is something that we haven't even learned yet. It's something that we're gonna learn. So how is something that you're gonna learn supposed to be a warm-up? A warm-up is supposed to be something that you already know to get you going so you know what you're doing the rest of the day. Not something that you're gonna learn. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I don't know why he does it. And then after the warm up, he comes around and checks your homework from the day before. And then it's just credit or no credit. He doesn't care what you do. You could literally write down banana for one of the problems. Instead of like 3x plus something something, do all the work equals like y equals 2. So he doesn't care if you do all that. You can literally just write down like every fruit in the world and you, you get all the credit. So after he does the homework, he goes up to the board and he writes down the notes in his little workbook to like show us how to teach or whatever. The whole rest of the hour after we actually get through everything, he's on his phone the whole time. All he does is fill up his coffee mug and goes on his phone. What the heck am I going to do when like midterms come up? I'm not going to know anything. I'm not going to know what to put. I had problems with both of these teachers and I actually went to my counselor to talk to them about them because like I wasn't doing good in the class so I went to talk to them and I told them like these teachers can't teach for their life so they told me they're like oh we already know about this problem so you're just gonna have to deal with them. <laughs> what the heck is that? You know just if I have a problem with these teachers and I come to them and talk about it and they already know about the problem, they should do something about the problem because everyone's having these problems. Why don't they do anything about it? So yeah, that kind of gets me mad about like teachers like that, like ten years or whatever, teachers that have worked for more than ten years, they think they can do whatever they want. It's like impossible to fire them or tell them to do the right thing because they think they know what they're doing. Well guess what? You don't. You've been teaching there for so long that you've like become a crazy person. So if you guys have any teachers like that, please let me know so I don't feel alone. And like and subscribe or whatever. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> and um, I will see you in my next.